Hey, Tom Wiley here, and today I'm going to show you how to drill large holes in quarter inch steel plate. Now, you can either use this for if you want a hole that is the, you know, the outside diameter of this hole saw, or it can be if you wanted to make a metal plug or disc the size of the inside diameter. Either way, we're going to end up with both of those parts once we're done with this process. So let's do it. Now to start with, I'd like to show you a hack for preventing the breaking of the quarter inch pilot bit that goes in your hole saw. Um, see this is, the, this is the assembly that screws into the back of the hole saw. This makes it so you can chuck this into a drill, uh, a, a, either a hand power drill or a drill press like the one I have here. It engages with the hole saw here. Um, you screw it in and then you line up the holes inside with the two pins. These two pins that, that drive when, when you twist it. See those two pins drive forward or out into these receiving holes in the hole saw. And that just engages, it makes it so that the, the rotating force, the torque transfers to that large hole saw um, without breaking things and without making thing, this screw thread too tight. Uh, but anyway, this normally has a quarter inch pilot bit in this inside. So normally you have this scenario here where the quarter inch drill bit would stick out uh, below the, hole, the teeth of the hole saw enough to, in, to drill into your surface that you're drilling. Um, it would, it would drill a hole and then it would it would stay in that hole and guide the hole saw down so that when you hit the hole saw because if if you don't have that you hit with the hole saw and it goes good 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 and chatters around like that just choose a ginormous mess into your work um, rather than a nice clean hole the problem is when it catches especially when you're on metal this hole saw it there's so much torque involved that it will want to catch and move around like that if you have a regular drill bit in these drill bits are are very brittle it'll just snap that drill bit right off i've done that countless times and then i finally realized wait why don't i replace that drill bit with a piece of quarter inch round stock so now i just have this quarter inch rod that uh if i'm if i'm drilling through and it catches and rotates and it'll bend this quarter inch rod all I have to do is loosen the screw, take the rod out, take it over to a flat surface. You can do it on concrete, you can do it on an anvil or the, the back of a, a bench vise if you have one handy. Take a hammer, smack it straight again. This one has a bunch of marks where I've hit it with the hammer to beat it straight again. Then all you do is put it back in, tighten the screw up, and you're back in business. So that's what I always do. I never, I almost never actually use the quarter inch drill bit in my hole saw um, assembly. I'll just use a, use a drill, chuck this quarter inch drill bit into the drill, drill out the center hole where I want it. So in this case, it, I already pre-drilled a hole right here. Then I chuck my hole saw into the drill with that quarter inch rod loaded in in the place of the drill bit and now I'm set to drill the hole that rod will guide me and keep me centered on that location but if it screws up and and bends no no worries I don't have to replace the drill bit all I have to do is pull that rod out bend it straight again put it back in and I'm back in business so now we'll jump into actually drilling this large uh, hole in this quarter inch plate. So I've got it set up in the drill press. I've got it clamped back here so that if the if this catches it's not going to throw this steel around into my stomach or anywhere else. So it's clamped down to to the uh, the workbench here or the table. The table can move a little bit, and that's good because, as you can see, this the hole saw, they are almost never totally perfectly true. 
they'll wobble just a little bit, whether it's in this chuck assembly or the hole saw itself, they'll often get bent or they'll be bent from the start. They'll wobble just a little bit. So you want a little bit of float here to be able to, to move. So now when I engage with that hole and I pre-drilled a hole through the wood as well, and I'm making sure that, that this uh, quarter inch rod will go through the wood and then into the center hole that's in this table. So now, when I engage with that hole, if needed, this whole table can float just a little bit in response to the movement, the wiggling of the, the, the uh, hole saw here. So, to start off, I'm gonna lubricate my hole saw. I'm gonna turn this on, just use a little, a little bit of spray lubrication. I use Power Lube from Napa, the CRC product, excellent. Uh, great for lubricating. I also use it for a cutting oil basically and it works really well. So get a little bit on the on the teeth there And then just a, a, an easy amount of pressure. You don't want to do too much and I've got the drill press on the lowest the slowest speed setting. That's very important because we're the uh, This is such a large diameter hole saw that those teeth are going at a very high rate of, of speed cutting through the steel. So I don't want to push too hard. I want to push hard enough to engage the teeth so they're not just dragging without doing any work. I also don't want to hawk too much metal out or it'll, it'll grab and stall out. So right now I'm only pushing with a few pounds worth of force on the, the drill press handle. But it's totally just you feel, go by feel and by how many wood or how many uh, metal chips are coming out and the sound of it. Are you going a little bit there. I might need to tighten the belt on the drill press, but we'll keep going and see what how it goes. It can be good also to just shut down for a little bit, walk away, do something else for a while, and let this this. Uh, Pole saw cool down. Let's see if we can get through this plate though. Right, I'm going to tighten the belts real quick. Well, they weren't that loose, but a little bit loose. So it started to break through and then it caught because it didn't cut all the way completely. So I'm just going to back it up here, try to work it out. Because I'm so close to the edge, it broke through most places, but not on this very corner here. So I'm going to go ahead and just break off this corner. That'll, that'll work okay for what I'm doing. And then I'll just clean this up with an angle or a, a uh, angle grinder and a flap disc. I'll just clean off this burr around the edge and have my nice disc. Uh, um, and what I'm doing, I want that disc to go into this uh, spring mount assembly for the log splitter. This is going to 
be the upper, no, this is going to be the lower end of the, that inside assembly. Well, hey, I hope you learned something from this video for how to drill through steel with a hole saw, as well as preventing the breaking of that quarter inch pilot bit on your hole saw set. Uh, I know that was frustrating for me for many years until I figured out this hack. Uh, if you like this video, please show your appreciation with a thumbs up uh, and subscribe to this channel as well if you'd like to see more. That will help me, both of which, uh, as well as commenting below with any questions or just a, hey, thanks for the video, um, that will help me reach more people. It will also just encourage me, so please do it. <laughs> All right, that's it. I'll see you in the next time.